Welcome back to Drive World, but today we're not starting here. We're actually starting here with a brand new account, and today we're going to go from Poor to Yesco. Here we go, the username is going to be Road to Yesco. Now let's put in the password. There we go. Now let's just pick a gender and sign up. And here we are in a brand new account. I have absolutely nothing. I have no friends. And now let's hop into Drive World and try to get Yesco. Here is Drive World, but before that, let's join the group so we can get the extra money multiplier. Here we go. We have join, and now let's go into Drive World. All right, now we're gonna load into Drive World, and as I do that, I'm gonna start the stopwatch, and I'm gonna keep that going till I finally get Yesco. Here we're in Drive World, and now let's start the timer now. And flip JTI. And we're gonna... For the start of this, it's gonna be pretty fast, and I'm gonna have to be doing a lot. But once we get further into the game, it's just gonna be repetitive. And there is our first minute, and we already have $1,500. So my plan to start off is to mainly focus on races that are 400 and below because my car is so low and getting higher placements is going to be better or getting money and so driving I think would be better over doing high races like this one right now that's currently up and what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the quest make sure that we get these done as fast as possible so we can move on to the next car. We're going to work from the blip JTI to the civil so we have to play for 30 minutes. Also, throughout this entire thing, I'm not going to have VIP bonus and I'm not going to have the friend bon bonus because I want to make it fair to show like an average player, they might not have a friend in the lobby, they might not have VIP because they don't have Robux. There we go, because my car isn't fast enough, I actually lose streaks if I ever mess up, so I'm at 16,000 right now. Here's another race, it's too high for me so I'm not gonna go in that either and we have finished our first quest of this account so let's collect this 10,000 we now have to focus on these 15 minutes 25 miles uh, more miles, minutes. These are the big challenges, so these are going to help us get a whole bunch of money later. Here we actually have a race that's at 400, so let's try it out and see if I can get first. I probably won't because there's upgraded cars. Uh-oh, there's a G-Wagon. Because my car is so slow, I think I want to hit these boost pads so that I can get more speed. Oh, the G-Wagon's messing up, but my car is stock, so no way that I can pass him. Not bad, we actually didn't finish last, so that's good. And while we did that race, we actually finished two more quests. Now we're up to 87,000. Our goal, I think, is to get like 250,000 so we can get the Exotica. And then from that, we just keep grinding around the world over and over again. Here, we actually have a decently low race, so I might as well do it.
Here we go with a, a not bad race. I actually got third place in that one. As you can see, just being consistent, not trying, uh, just taking corners softly, not trying to take the best line actually got me second place. And this shows that when being a new player, if you're just consistent, not trying to get the best times possible, you could easily make more money that way and you'll be passing everybody because they're all trying their hardest. But you're you're in it for the long run. And there we go, we finished our last daily quest. So now we just have to focus on these missions and then later we'll work on the weekly ones. Also, winning in this game doesn't actually really matter. Um, getting second place will give you almost the same amount of money. The only reason you'd be trying to win is for the quest. And quest doesn't even give that much money so really you shouldn't be stressing about getting wins when even getting last place it still gives you a good chunk of money There you go again, I was just consistent and I was able to get third place again. Also, if you look on the leaderboard, you can actually see there's a lot of new players. So a lot of the new players are going to be doing the races. For the higher players, they might be either driving around or AFKing in the ocean or they're doing races that give a higher payout of money. And there is 30 minutes into the game and I have 136,000. So now we can go and collect the civil. There it is. And we just finished this race and got $2,700. Um, I'm not actually sure if this car is better than the Blip JTI when it's stock. But we can test that out. So here we are with our first, first car switch. And I think this one actually is better. Maybe it's just better acceleration. And here's our first race with the Civil. There we go, fifth, and now we have six races, get it out of 10. And there you go, it's my first wind right there, as you can see. But, as this uh, server's dying out, I'm actually going to serve our pop to a different server that has more active people in it. And here we are in a different server, hopefully these people are a little bit more active. There we are with our second win.
There we go, we just finished our 10th race. Now we can collect another 15,000. Now we're like 40,000 away from the Exotica. I just passed the one hour mark with a total of 218,000 and I currently have $6,500 on my streak. I am now at $250,000, so let's buy the Exotica. Here it is, and I like the color red, so I'm gonna pick that one. And now we have a new car to grind with. Also because I bought a car in the shop, I got this achievement, and I'm just about to get the 100 miles. To start off, I'm gonna quickly buy the 9 speed, because it's the best for the Exotica. And there you go, that's my fourth win. And this car is pretty good for 600 and 800 races. Now I'm gonna start having money rolling in. While I was doing that race, I actually finished the 100 minute plays with around 1 hour and 41 minute. Now we just have these two other ones that are big amounts of cash you get from them, so 50 miles and like 9 races. These I probably won't finish for a while, and then this one I'll finish, and it's just grind to Esco. And there we are, we have our 10th win. The rest of the quests that we need are just driving and races now.
there we go. I finished the 30 races and now we just have to do the miles. And there we go, we have fully maxed Exotica, except for the engine, but we're gonna do that after I get a little bit more money, and then we're just gonna grind straight to Yeska. I have also just hit two hours so far with um, the max Exotica, except for the engine, and $42,000. There is the first around the world. There is many more to come after this one. There we go, and we are now at 500,000, so we can max out the Exotica, and we can start working on getting the Yesco finally. And there you go, I've been playing, I've had this account, this Drive World account for five hours now and I have gotten almost 500 miles and 34 wins so far and on the quest I have 258 minutes so far on the five hour one and there's another around the world And now I'm at 500,000 cash with the Max Exotica, and I have just finished the five hours played. Now the last mission we have is the $100,000 one, which is play 10 hours, and I'm halfway there, so I should I should get that before I hit the yes go. Now if I stop, I'll be at my first million out of the four million that I need for Yesco. There you go. And here we are on day two. It's been 21 hours so far and I have $1.2 million. And checking on my miles, I have almost 1,000 and I have 69 wins. Let's continue. And I have my daily quest skin so I can finish these and get more money. So. There's three races, now I just need to drive 25 miles and play 15 minutes. Miles is actually going to be way easier because I have a faster car. Alright, at 22 hours I have gotten 1,000 miles and 75 wins with a total of $1.5 million. And there we go, I have finally finished playing for 10 hours and that means that I have completed all the quests in the game currently. So let's collect this and now we just have to keep on grinding until we get the Yesco. We are almost 24 hours in and I have $2 million which means we're halfway to the Yesco. Here we're finally at 24 hours and I have a total of $2.2 million. 
And here we are. Once I stop, I'll get 2.5 million, which is actually enough for the Arrow 1. There you go. But getting the Arrow 1 and fully maxing it will take longer than grinding the Exotica. And here we are again. We're about to get 3 million, and then we have 1 million left, and we'll finally have the Yesco. And there we go. Time to keep grinding. Uh, we're almost 28 hours in, and I have 1.7 thousand miles and 129 wins. Here I am, still in around the world, but I'm about to hit 30 hours since I created this account. There we go, with 30 hours, and I, so far I have 3.5 million dollars, 500,000 more to go, and then I'll finally have Yesco. And here we are with our last 50,000. I'm gonna just drive around for this. We'll stop here and we'll see how close I am. I need about 10,000 more. There it is. Let's go. Stop. And here we go. In 31 hours and 49 minutes, we are able to get the Yesco. And let me know down in the comments if there's any other challenges you want me to try. Um, just to be sure, there's there's no friend bonus still, and I don't have VIP. I could buy it, um, and I can leave. And looking on here, I have no friends at all. I've only played Drive World on this account, and date joined is February 27th.